Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Peter. Yeah, good afternoon. I guess we're all hoping for a, a classic to mark your 1000th game, but it just never seemed to happen. What, what are the emotions after a game like that? Um, as first and foremost, before the game, I, I uh, got a lot of messages, and not all of them were nice. It means <laughs> I think um, Arsene Wenger lost his 1000th game, 6 0. So I'm really happy that that didn't happen. Um, and I like the, the start in the first half, I like particularly the start in the second half. So that was good. We have to extend these spells, um, we have to play more football. in especially in the first half when we won balls back, um, when we defended really well, when we were really aggressive, then we gave the ball too easy away, but had other moments where we, where we played pretty well. Didn't get it to the, to the, um, to create a real, like a no-brainer or whatever, but um, was, was good. And for me, it's clear in that situation, you have really to be ready for little steps, and this was a little step today. That's how it is. We cannot expect now every, every week, um, uh, I expect progress, and I think it's from, from the last league game, it was progress, definitely. Um, and um, that's important. Saw us in a lot of moments, really compact, really being together, good challenges. Um, and, but of course, the, the opponent is there as well. Sometimes you have to def defend them with passion. And um, we didn't do that two weeks ago, but today we did. So when you have a block in the last second, like Robo had or whoever had the other one, um, that's that's really important, and so these things are positives, and from there we go. It might leave you even further behind the, the top four when we come to the end of the weekend. Do you just have to accept that and just keep keep pushing on with the hope of, of getting better? Yeah, the, the distance we, we we only can influence by by winning. So and we didn't do that today. So they cannot all lose. Now um, some of them will win, some of them will draw. But yeah. Um, yeah, there are a lot of games to play. Yeah? There are still a lot of games to play, um, and if you count all the points, then you see that you know, a lot of things are possible. But for, to get there, we have to we have to um, continue with the things again we we, we, we did now. And uh, for the last two games, I, I saw progress, and that's good, and that's what we have to to keep doing. Johnny, <coughs> you mentioned um, extending the good spells. Oh, that's oops. That's um, in in possession. Then we have so we were compact. We won really good balls. We caused them problems, and um, from there, then we we, we 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 have to do better with the ball, um, and that's possible. But I was already it was already better than so the last game was fine in, in that department. But then the, the last league game um, that we really keep the balls in there and 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 play from there. It's like we passed. Even Thiago, who is obviously a great footballer, gave balls away, unforced errors, these kind of things. That's what we have to do better. And um, if we do that, if we defend well and play then in these moments more, use each other more, um, all of a sudden it looks completely different. But th that's where we have to get to. There are not a lot of good things in a situation we are in, but th that's obviously that it opens doors and, and, and gaps and, and situations for, for, for young players is obviously one of the, the rare positive things. And especially Stefan, um, uh, we, we, there was a door. I'm not even sure it was open, but he ran just through it, um, and he was um, he's exceptional. He did he does really well in the moment. I think that's clear. We have to be a bit careful with him, of course. He's really young. Uh, we had a, a yellow card. I don't even know it was his fault, to be 100% honest, but he got a yellow card. So, of course, he got tired, but was still really good in the game. But each player, when he, has, uh, when he gets tired and is on a yellow card, is a risk. And we didn't want to take that. Um, but no, he's, he's, really, he's doing really well. Um, did you mention Harvey as well? Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Okay, Harvey played already the year before for us. Or, and, and I don't know how long. He's already really a fixed part of, this, of the um, 
of the squad. So would say it's slightly different even when he's really young, but he had already a, a really a lot of good games and he can play different positions. And in our situation, that's really important. Obviously, we, we, we lack a little bit proper wingers, if you want, because they are all not available. But how he can play there in a different way, yes, but he can play there. He can probably play more position if he plays on the right side, but um, there is more, and so that goes well. So no, that, that, that's these are positives, but they are not the only positives. But of course, they are easy to to see, and all the others maybe you have to, to look a bit, to try a bit harder to find them. But um, they're still there. So, yeah, both teams are not where we expect to see them. Is this is this something we have to accept as the Premier League comes in? Because it's always been Yeah, that, oh, yeah, definitely. It's like them smaller clubs, whatever that means. Um, yeah, there, there, there are a lot of good teams. It's the strongest league in the world, so I don't think anybody um, would, would um, argue that. Um, yeah, but the situation of Chelsea, and okay, I have no clue actually about the situation of Chelsea, to be honest, but um, we, we, that we don't do as good as we could has nothing to do with the quality of other teams, to be honest. So um, it's, um, it's, it's self made. Not everything our fault, but still um, self-made, and um, that's um, why we are where we are. But th that's how it is, and we have to we have to go from here, and we have to improve, and we have to be. For us, it's okay. We, so usually, a point against Chelsea is is not bad. It's not a bad result. But I sit here and I, I feel a little bit that I have to say, okay, it's okay, uh, though, because you also think. Um, eh? How can you not win against them? So uh, they will win a lot of games, I can promise you. And today they didn't, so that's good. Um, but of course, first and foremost, I'm concerned about our stuff. And we, we, we I saw good signs, but I know we have to do the good things um, even better and longer and in the idle world for the full 95 or meanwhile 100 minutes probably. Um, and that's then we then we are there and we we, we, we will we will go in that direction, I'm sure. Last one, Joe Bain, thing. You know, your first clean sheet in nine Premier League games, your second clean sheet in a row. Is, it, is this important psychologically when the guys know Massive. That Massive. Yeah. So, directly after the game, you can't forget the chances they had where we defended in the last second with a block, but um, tomorrow I don't, rem I don't will not remember them anymore. It's just a clean sheet and it feels really good. So, how I said, there are things we have to build on. That's what we will do. So, the next opponent now, obviously, is not, is not Premier League, but is. Um, um, FA Cup and it's Brighton. That's a, a team where we, we didn't do too well in the last game. Um, so we, we said we should try to do better, and that's what we will try. And um, it will be interesting. Thank you. Welcome. See you.